Hey guys, what's up? This is Rocky DD is back with another tutorial on NLTK and today I'll be talking about finding bigram collocations. So what are collocations? Uh, so collocations are generally these uh, words which you can find uh, quite a lot uh, to be, you know, together. So let's say, for example, you have uh, United Kingdom, uh, you have I can't, or uh, you have uh, let's go. You know, sometimes in some texts, let's let's go might be used uh, quite a lot. So, you know, it is uh, formed with two words. So that is why it is called a bigram. So the spelling of that would be, uh, so it, it's like bigram, okay? So bigram means a set of two words and a trigram is a set of three words. So much on trigram in the next video. But in this video, I'll be talking about how you can find bigrams in a particular text file you know dot txt the one that you use in i um, mean you generate when you use notepad all right uh, so let's get started so what you do is uh, you just uh, go to from nltk.corpus import web text so if you go to web text on your own uh, you know installation the nltk data when you open it and when you go inside corpora, uh, corpora and then you know get into web text you will find a lot of text files so you can uh, choose any of those text files uh, for your own, uh, what do you call, uh, you can you can actually uh, put your own text files as well for finding bigrams in that text file to find out which two words, I mean, which kind, which set of two words are uh, quite commonly used. So the, this will help you in training your data. So to expect uh, later on in later stages, uh, you'll be able to expect what two words to expect, I mean, what two words can come one after the other. All right, so let's get started. So after this, what you do is you just uh, import one more thing. So it's called uh, bigram collocation finder. So what you do is from nltk.collocations import bigram collocation finder. All right, so after this, you also need one matrix uh, function, which comes from nltk.metrics. Make sure that all of these are unzipped in your uh, NLTK underscore data. And if you don't have it, you can download it from, uh, you know, uh, the NLTK dot download. How do you, how, how do you do that? Is just type NLTK dot download and a pop-up will uh, enter after you click on enter. I'm not doing it here because I have it set up already. So if you, if you find any of this missing, you can just directly download it from this command. All right, so moving on. So what you do is from nltk.metrics import bigram SOC measures. After this, you, you're all set and you can start, uh, you know, working with your, I mean, you can, you can experiment with your uh, bigrams. I mean, you can get them out what they are and all. So what you do is uh, just, uh, let's say text words, for example, the words that I want to uh, take for uh, the data. Well, let, let, let me take it as an array of words in such a way that I get the lower case of it. So let's say uh, w dot lower for w in web text dot words. Uh, let's say pirates. Pirates uh, is the text file that is found by default, which is of Pirates of Caribbean. So you can go check it out if you're interested. So once that is done, what you can do is that uh, after text words, uh, after you're done with text words, what you can do is, uh, you know, you're, uh, you can you can start a finder function. So how a finder function is defined is like this. So what you do is finder is equal to bigram collocation finder that you just uh, imported. And you say from underscore words, this is a method. So from underscore words, so you supply text words. So this is your finder function, which is ready. And this will, uh, I mean, finder object, this will give you a lot of data. So let's, uh, so the final uh, final stop would be nothing but finder.nbest. Uh, so this is another method. And you pass in bigram SOC uh, measures dot likelihood ratio. So likelihood ratio is, uh, is, is, a, is, a, is a property that will tell you, I mean, that will tell the system uh, to find out the words with the most likelihood. So you give a value of how many words you want, which is the second argument, which is 10 th that I just gave. And when you hit enter, you see that you have a, you have an array of, you know, uh, bigrams over here. So as you can see over here, Jack Sparrow is one bigram. So we were actually successful in 
uh, you know, getting all these. So there is Elizabeth Swan as well, and then Davy Jones, and then you know, few other uh, words are there which we don't want, like these, uh, you know, these uh, apostrophe s and all these are prop, uh, pretty redundant. So Will Turner is something we want, but we want uh, higher quality. So what do we do is we apply filters. Anyways, I hope you've understood till here. So what we did is that we uh, got text words from a particular text file. And after that, we have used a finder function for, I uh, mean, uh, which can be used, a uh, finder object, which is uh, used using the bigram collocation finder method. I mean, it, it has a method called from words and bigram collocation finder is imported. And we supply the text words. After that, we give n best and we uh, we supply bigram as of measures dot likelihood ratio. I'll be talking about this in, in another, another video, but for now, just uh, hang on. So we have likelihood ratio as a property and then followed by 10. So also what you can do is you can supply 20 if you want 20 and it will give you the top most 20 uh, bigrams. So as you can see over here, we also have Lord Cutler and all of these things. So what uh, bigrams do is that they help you with uh, knowing what your data primarily has, like what kind of uh, information it has. So uh, let's, let's go forward and apply filters that I was talking about. So how you do that is pretty simple. If you remember my fourth video, I talked about uh, stop words. So you can use stop words as a set of words that you do not want. So I'll show you how we can use that. So just uh, go to nltk.corpus, import stop words. And what you say is ignored words. Let's create a set of ignored words. So ignored words will be a set of stop words start words from the English language and that is set now ignored words is available to us so I can check what words will be ignored so ignored words are there but we also create something called filter stops so filter stops is a function which it's a lambda function which will help, help us to you know remove certain kind of words which are not required so what are those words is up to us. So we can create the Lambda function as we want. So but after constructing this function, we just need to use it in another method that I'll be showing. So what you do is uh, you just give, uh, you just say that the length of the W. So Lambda, Lambda applies on each entity, which is a word. So length of W is less than three or W is in ignored underscore words. Right, so that is your filter stops function. So now what is the last uh, step is that you apply this function uh, uh, saying uh, finder.apply underscore word underscore filter with the filter stops function as the argument. So once that is done, this means that this filter has been applied already. And now when you check finder.nbest uh, by Grom uh, SOX measures, Bigram SOC measures dot likelihood ratio and you say 10. All right, so now you can see that we have clean set of uh, words right now. So we have Jack Sparrow, Elizabeth Swan, Davy Jones, and then Fly, Fly Man, or uh, sorry, uh, it's, it's Flying Dutchman, and then Lord Cutler, Cutler, Beckett. Black Pearl and all these things. So this will tell you uh, what are the most used uh, bigrams. So similarly, we can also find out trigrams. So I'll be showing that in the next video. And uh, until then, stay tuned. And also uh, like this video if you liked it and also share it with your friends. Also subscribe to my channel. Okay, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.